Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I hope this video finds you and your family well. Today I wanna to share with you my experience traveling safely as a family for internationally during the pandemic. Before traveling, I found these videos very, very helpful. Uh, especially traveling with kids, it was kinda of getting me a little bit nervous with the mask and everything else. Uh, so I found this kind of videos very helpful to watch before and I hope it will be helpful for you as well. Now, we traveled from Boston Logan Airport. We had one connection, I can't remember where, I think it was Charlotte. Um, and we flew to Cancun, Mexico. Arriving at Boston Logan Airport, nothing really had changed except the fact that everybody had to be wearing masks. Me and my husband, me, both of my kids were wearing masks. Each of them had their own little backpack, which soon we'll be sharing a video about what did they pack for my kids and how did I get them entertained during the flight. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the no notification button so you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Besides the mask wearing, we were asked to uh, fill it up like a little small questionnaire that um, Mexico was requiring at the time. And another thing I forgot to mention, there was no uh, restrictions the time that we went traveling. And this is something that I did almost like every week. I kept tracking if there was any new restrictions and that's what you should do before traveling because they could change easily. For example, when we traveled, the US government was not requesting a um, negative test before flying back to United States. But again, they might change. So please make sure you're always checking the requirements. Going through the security it was pretty much the same thing, except the fact that we were wearing masks and we were allowed to bring hand, hand sanitizers that were bigger than a travel size. I had one that was pretty big, um, although they did stop and check my bag. They said it was totally fine to travel with it. And the airport, throughout the airport, there were plenty of stations with hand sanitizing. I don't have many footage of us inside the airport because when you have two kids, they keep you so busy. I just didn't have the chance. But one thing that I was a little bit surprised was that there was no temperature checking before flying since, you know, the pandemic. And I would, I, I actually thought they would be um, checking temperatures, but there was no such a thing. The United Airlines started calling people from back to front. So that way there's no jamming up in the middle of the aisle, which I thought was pretty nice. Much better actually that way and much faster getting into the aircraft. So done the flight, everything the same, except the fact that we were getting inside the aircraft. They gave it to us a little small bag with water, a few snacks and hand sanitizing wipes. I already had my own. I was all set. So before my kids were able to get to their seat, I cleaned everything. I cleaned the seats with the hand alcohol and um, I forgot what I took, but anyways, I cleaned our seats and our table and getting to Kinko, Mexico, same thing, except again, you you have to be wearing masks. The resort where we stayed, they were taking temperatures every time you get into the restaurants, whether you're sitting outside or inside, whether we're there for 10 days, every time we went to eat in the restaurants, they were taking our temperatures. And also what I thought was nice that there was always somebody in front of the elevator with the hand sanitizing and extra masks in case you need masks. Um, it was pretty, pretty nice. So, you know, you touch the elevator, there was somebody already there with the alcohol. So you don't have to um, bring your own, you know. So that was pretty nice. And the time while we went, it was the beach was pretty empty. 
which is also nice because we got to have the place for ourselves, basically. Uh, yeah, there were people there, but I believe at the time that we went there, the taxi uh, guy told us that there were a 35% capacity only. So it was pretty empty, especially the resort was pretty big. When we were walking around the resort area, whether inside, outside, going to the restaurants, we were always wearing the mask except at the beach, that, that was the only place where we actually took the mask off. And on the way back, or uh, I, I think I already mentioned, but to return back to United States, our flight got canceled. Actually, they changed the time with something like that. So we decided to extend our vacation um, four more days, three or four more days. And what is nice about the traveling airlines, they are changing their cancellation policy and that made, so we were able to uh, that, do that change without any cost except the fact that we had to pay the resort. And we took the advantage and we went back to Isla das Mujeres. We've been there before. Absolutely, to me, it was it's one of the most prettiest place in Mexico. Isla de Mujeres is amazing. We had to take a shuttle, a uh, shuttle and a boat to get there. Getting to the Isla de Mujeres was a little different. They had this machine, I wish I recorded. I actually thought it was like a X-ray machine that they had put there. I've been there, to, I have been to the island before. I never saw that, but I, I thought, you know, it's been two years, I haven't been here. Maybe it's just a little change. It was actually a spray. I'm not sure what was, what was inside a spray, but they you go through this machine and they spray like a disinfectant. I'm not sure. There was something. <laughs> we, and there's nowhere to run. You just have to go through. Uh, we got to taxi, we got to the resort, and they did the same thing again. They sprayed us before getting inside the resort. They checked our temperature. They cleaned our luggages before bringing to the room. And over there, same thing, people were wearing masks everywhere except at the beach. The place was also a little empty which I'm not complaining about again. My experience that time was really good. I felt really safe going to Mexico. People were really enforcing mask wearing, cleaning hands and um, social distancing, the tables and the restaurants. Um, they were separate from each other. So it was pretty uh, nice experience. Definitely different than pre pandemic but it's still very very worth it and my kids they were absolutely amazing i never had to tell them wear a mask and that's one of the reasons that made us um that made an easier decision to travel because you don't want to go through a nightmare of having to argue with your three or four year old while you are flying that they have to wear masks. That's it for today, guys. I hope you found this video very helpful. This is most likely my very first YouTube video. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the no notification button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, let me know in the comments down below if since the pandemic in 2020 or even 2021, have you been, have you, did you fly anywhere? Did you travel, whether domestically or internationally? Let me know in the comments, let me know your experience. And if you have any questions, also please let me know. If I have any links, I will leave in the description as well. And I hope you have an awesome week.